Well, um, it's supposed to be a lighthearted reading, but uh, in the process, it's actually kind of grim. So I apologize ahead of time, okay? Um, this is actually strange because um, it's, um, it's like the parallel of your monthly reading. But um, I feel that it's a little more in-depth just because it's a love reading. So I have some very strong advice for you coming from this. And I think um, I'm glad I, I did this because um, the energy is coming out very strongly to corroborate your monthly reading as well. So um, let's talk about this here. And I'm using the Celtic Cross just because it helps me hone in on you know your love and romance department. Okay, so for the root of the matter, or basically the crowning energy, is the King of Swords. And he's shown up in the upright position. And you are a fire sign, so the King of Swords is not your energy. It just means that um, you're in a situation where you have to, have to, have to be very objective, okay? You have to analyze situation very objectively, and you have to be realistic. So if you're dealing with a person from your past, which I think you strongly are, um, they have not changed, therefore, if you're hoping to reconnect with them this month, um, just know that, you know, you're getting yourself back into the same cycle, so, um, be careful about that, okay, so, objectivity, using your head rather than your heart, okay, so, you know, we have our head, and that is the organ with which we think, we have our heart, and that is to feel. So when you're making a decision, make sure you use the right organ, and make sure you are just very discriminate about this person from your past that is trying to pop in, okay? So be very careful, please, because I feel that um, I just don't want you to get hurt this month. Okay, so um, the person in your past could also be a water sign as well. Um, so if this resonates with you, please watch the rest of the video. That way we can avoid some of the same mistakes and pitfalls, okay? So the energy that is crossing you is the Three of Cups. And um, this is just, you know, a neutral energy. It's not reverse or upright or anything like that. And the Three of Cups in a situation like this, um, I would say, okay, so first of all, for those of you who are coupled up, and, um, you know, you're, you've moved on to a good, for those of you who are just in general or coupled up, um, I feel that you're using a lot more discernment when you're with your current partner. You might be a little suspicious that your current partner is like, you know, um, seeing somebody else on the side, male or female. You might be a little um, skeptical, a little suspicious, okay? Which is fine. <clears throat> Which is fine. Just make sure it doesn't affect the relationship. And then you have to really ask yourself where these trust issues are coming from. And is it because you've been hurt in the past, therefore it's hard for you to trust? Or is it because, you know, you're the one doing the deceiving, therefore you think your partner might be the same way? So just be honest with yourself where the trust issues are actually coming from, from you or from them, okay? Um... For those of you who are single, um, I feel, you know, singles might not have it too difficult this month. Um, you're very discerning at this point, and, you know, once burned, twice shy. So you're actually exercising that objectivity when you're uh, dealing with potential partners, okay? Which is great for you to do. Um, on top of that, um, this is what's crossing you, okay? So you feel that the next situation you will be in um, will actually bring about, you know, the um, the cheating relationship again because we have three people involved in this union. And then at the same time, you're at a point where you feel kind of jaded and you feel like you would rather stay single and enjoy the company of your friends because at least you know they won't hurt you. Okay, so... Uh, I mean, it's just a very sad reading, but um, I feel that your friends, you know, they make you happy, and that's perfectly fine, but you're so afraid of getting into relationships that um, that you're afraid, just, uh, you're like, you're, you're just afraid to get out there and put yourself out there. So, 
there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, things happen in their own time, you know, so even when we're ready, maybe it's not the right time. And then, um, even when we're not ready, it's the right time, and then we might miss out on that opportunity. But, um, just make sure you're fine first before you get yourself out there. Don't push too hard, okay? So in the past position, I have the King of Cups here, and he's shown up in the reverse position. Um, this is definitely somebody from your past that you were in a relationship with or, you know, you were seeing casually. Um, for both single and couple of um, Sagittarius. And the King of Cups is a male or female, a water sign, a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces. And this person is uh, very deceitful and very manipulative. So I feel that that was somebody who you had to contend with for a while. And it's really problematic due to his um, the issues he brought to the table. It was hard for you to trust again. And it's, it's still hard for you to trust again. And he's, inter he's interfering with your future relationships and your ability to trust in general, which is very sad. So I'm glad he's behind you. Um, as for your what's coming in right now, I have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse position. So I feel like, you know, this man or woman, the water sign from your past, is strongly coming back in this month. So I see him or her weaseling his or her way back in this month with this Wheel of Fortune in reverse and also with Mercury in retrograde, but mainly with the Wheel of Fortune. Just because um, when it's in reverse, it, it cycles back, you know, to an earlier time. Therefore, there are more opportunities for people from our past cycling back in. And coupled with the um, Mercury in retrograde energy, people will weasel their way back in even though you don't want them to. So then, additionally, for coupled or single people, if this person has hurt you in the past, I hope, you know, you don't take the bait. I hope you can leave them behind for good. I really, really hope that for you. Um, and I also want you to know, with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse position, um, you, it's important for you to realize that um, we have free will. There's nothing. There's no such thing as destiny, okay? Um, destiny is what we make of it. We do have free will. We do have the ability to... Um, change situations. So just know that maybe the relationship with that person has already run its course and it's not your fate to repeat the same cycle, even though it might seem like it's faded because you keep running into them. But um, make an, a conscious effort to move on. I, I feel like with this King of Swords, make a very con conscious effort to really leave them behind for good, okay? Because uh, they have not changed. They have not changed. And um, I pull like the Three of Swords, which is like the heartbreak card for you guys during the monthly horoscope or the monthly tarot reading. And I feel like, you know, the, the energy is just very similar here. So if it's somebody from your past, they're in your past for a reason. So just move on. In terms of your hopes and aspiration, we have the Six of Swords here, and this is definitely indicative of, you know, a situation that you want to move away from, okay? So, for those of you who are currently in a coupled relationship with a an air sign, um, let's see, yeah, with an air sign, the air sign is actually very good for you, okay? The air sign is very honest, very truthful, and this air sign is definitely a keeper. Um, romance might be a little lacking with an air sign just because they they live on an intellectual level and they operate on a very mental uh, plane, you know, so it might be a little lacking. But hang in there because that air sign is actually um, very truthful and honest and it is exactly what you need for right now. Um, for those who are single and looking, um, you, you're hoping to sail away from this relationship, this past relationship with that water sign, but it's been hard, okay? So for those of you who are single and looking, it's been hard, and you feel really tied up with that person. You, you feel like emotionally and like physically you're entangled with that person. It's really hard to extract yourself from that situation. Therefore, it's hard to move on. In terms of your um, subconscious, things that are motivating this situation, helping it or um, hindering it um, that you might not know about is we have the sun in the upright position. So um, 
this is how I'm seeing this play out for you in terms of um, how the cards synergize with one another. So um, you have everything here this month to help you achieve your goal, which is to move on. You know, for those who are still entangled with this person, that water sign from the past, for some reason, you have everything here. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse position invites opportunities for us to reconcile, to confront other people, and to basically um, give closure to something that was um, that keeps cycling back in, okay? So I feel that this is actually the month for you. If you wish to, um, I don't think you want to reconcile, but if you wish to forgive that person or if you wish to ask to demand an apology or something like that, the opportunity is definitely there for you to get that closure from that person and then you can move on with your life, okay? If you are in a couple relationship, the energy is there for you to foster that relationship so that it doesn't, um, so that you can leave this person behind, okay, the, that water sign behind. So the energy here is there for you, um, the energy is there for you to basically, um, either invest in the current situation that you have and move on with your life or um, to go back and seek closure. Don't go back to that person to start up a relationship because they're in the upright, um, they're in the reverse position. So they're still lying and cheating and, you know, being horrible. But the energy is there for you to find closure, either confront them or state your case with them or extract an apology. So the energy is there for you to work on that, if you so choose. But I would say do not go back to a, an unhealthy relationship, okay? So the energy is there just for reconciliation or um, for closure. It is not for going back to that situation, so please don't. Um, in terms of, let's see, this is the advice from the universe, okay? Advice from the universe. Um, this is, um, so for some of you, coupled or single, I feel that if you have dealt with a water sign in the past, there has been, you know, an infidelity with a woman who is very uh, materialistic, who is very, like, um, what is that word? Um, she's, she's basically a user. She's, um, she is just um, an opportunist, and she... She is very concerned with money, so um, if you're in a situation where, you know, um, your the, your ex has cheated on you, um, they quickly realize that the person they cheated on you with is um, is using them. So that's why they're trying to come back in and apologize to you. Um, so you know that that's just what it is. Or if they're in a situation where, you know, they were used and thrown out and now they're down in, in on their luck and they just want to come back to you because they know that um, you truly love them, then, you know, uh, still don't get back with them. But I just know that, um, I just want you to know, justice has been dealt, okay? And it, they, they're suffering hard and that's why they're coming back. So they're not coming back just because, you know, they're... Um, they're successful and they want to share you to share um, that success with them. No, they're coming back because you know you are the rebound because whatever they were hoping for with that other person didn't work out. So I just want you to be aware of that. Okay, you don't deserve that. You don't want to be the rebound. You want to be the one and only, and they don't deserve you. So just um, be clear about that. And then additionally. Um, I don't see any other pentacles to, this has to be a person, so I don't think it's, um, okay, and also an advice too, for those of you who have been cheated on in the past, um, by an earth sign and not a water sign, um, the same thing is happening, I would say, so, you know, any exes from the past, an earth or a water sign, just be very careful, okay, because, um, the, the same thing is happening, you know, just, they they um they might have gotten involved with somebody else and then that other person burned them and now you know they're down on their luck and they're coming back in because they know that you love them so you're basically easy target for them at this point and 
you don't want to be somebody's plan B okay um, so please don't let them back in and um, in terms of your external environment um, the moon in reverse is actually a good card right here and it means you know using your rationality rather than relying on your intuition because it has led you astray before with this person or with this person so um, using your intuition um, is good and all but in a situation where you're really uh, clouded by your emotions and you know in a situation where you're you're not all there like rationally it's really important for you to be objective okay it's important for you to be harsh and to be very decisive about this because um, you don't want the cycling back in every now and again and have you doubting yourself so you know what you gotta do it's just a matter of sticking to it and being decisive I feel and being decisive once and for all being hurtful if you need to just to get them to see things from your perspective and to leave you alone so that they don't come back in and mess up your current relationships or mess up you know your inability or um, get you mired in a, a situation where you're constantly doubting your self-worth so then it affects your ability to date other people okay so um, be careful about that okay and as for this is your hopes and fears okay so there's nothing to fear from the empress she's a very loving energy okay um, as for hopes, you want to become whole again, I feel. This is having the all the abundance that you want materially, physically, um, mentally, emotionally. This is having, you know, a complete abundance, okay? And then for those of you who are in an established relationship, if you're uh, hoping to conceive, this is the month for you to do it. I mean, it's actually a great month to do it. Um... For those who are single, you're hoping to basically um, re rebuild yourself so that you can be prosperous and beautiful and just desirable. So I feel like this person has hurt you very deeply or, you know, this person has hurt you very deeply. And at this point, you just feel like kind of um, insecure and incomplete. But rest assured that um, things are going to change for you, okay? And then in terms of the outcome, um, I'm not happy with the Ten of Cups in the reverse position, but the, the Ten of Swords are both in the, well, they're both reverse, but Ten of Swords reverse is actually a little bit better just because um, you've been hurt in the past. You're not going back to it. I hope you're not going back to it. I feel, though, a lot of you might be going back to it, so I just want you to know if you choose to go back to it, I just want to emphasize, okay? These are going to be the outcome if you choose to go back to that relationship, okay? Because um, you can't recover from something like this and you think then you can cycle back in. They feed you some lies and some other, you know, um, they feed you lies and to explain themselves when in fact they're all lies and then you end up trusting them again and you get yourself in this situation where you're just like again so then you know you can't go back to it I, I don't think I, I'm, I mean you know I know love is love and you feel like you know love should be enough but no some people don't know what love is so don't waste your time and then you have this situation in which you you don't have that uh, abundance that you want that emotional fulfillment that you want so if you're even remotely thinking about going back to that past situation it's not going to turn out well so i just want to really really emphasize that point please do not go back to that person from your past and um who might be a a water sign or an earth sign so don't go back to that situation from the past, okay? And additionally, for those of you who are in a new relationship, who are in a stable relationship right now, um, if you're not completely happy, okay? If you're not completely happy, just know that um, the ties will turn and then you can work at things. The timing is just a little off right now because of Mercury in retrograde and that's why I don't enjoy doing these um, videos during Mercury in retrograde because the cards are a little confusing. And you know this spread helps but at the same time it's just the energies are not there and I can't, I, I just don't feel like 
closure in telling people to delay their actions for a certain amount of time just because of you know cosmic energies but um things are in a weird funk right now but I, I feel like deep down you know what you have to do because you have like the gift of discernment and you have objectivity so I know deep down you know what you have to do if you're in a new relationship and um, you you're either you're dealing with you know a, a, a love partner or a spouse that has not forgotten their past love their past hurt then you know what you have to do to fix the situation if you're dealing with a person or if this is you you're in a current relationship right now that's very stable or new and you're still pining over that uh, ex then you have to be upfront with your partner and you know maybe you're, you're just not ready at this point okay but um I feel that you can overcome it it's going to be very difficult but you have to get through um, you have to basically leave that ex behind and move on with your life and until you can leave that ex behind the outcome is not going to be good and that's what I would recommend just you know until you can honestly say to yourself that you're over it you would never go back to it regardless of whoever it is then um, you'll be fine okay but going back to that ex is a huge mistake all right so um, I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day let me know how this plays out in your life please like share and subscribe and I'm very sorry that um, this is such a grim reading I was hoping to do something a little more playful and fun for Valentine's Day but it's not panning out the way you know I anticipated with Scorpio and Sagittarius so I'm very sorry but I still hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day because you know the power is there it's just up to us to go out there and exercise our free will so um, I'll be back next week for the weekly horse um, tarot reading and it's I'm actually very curious to see how this energy will play out throughout the week so I hope it's not the same energy cycling back in but um, it'll be very interesting to see how it plays out in the weekly um, tarot reading alright so have a wonderful Valentine's Day